William Turner Gallery has an exhibit of paintings that I do here. I do them outside on the ground. And I paint in different directions, different places, different colors, different ways of applying the paint. Sometimes I'm a little worm crawling around the surface with paint, leaving a track wherever I've been with the brush. I look at them as if they're in motion, as if they don't exist. It's static. But in order to play the static, You have to be static. And then it has to go into motion. Expand and contract the lens. Because we like everything balanced and symmetrical. I like to look at them in motion. They have no place. I saw a Mondrian painting early that had all these little crackle lines on it. And I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if I could get that a whole field of crackling like that? And I found out how to do it by chance in experimenting. Seldom do I know what I'm doing. I'm finding out in, in the process of putting paint on and taking it off. Painting is a kind of activity with paint on a surface. Putting it on, taking it off, making little patterns, that I can spray and paint through, and it makes the regular shapes. Then if I move the pattern, it will change those shapes again and again. I like the idea of discovering rather than positively putting something down that I have in my head. Oh, that's an idea. Why don't I paint that? I'd rather find something out when I'm putting the paint down in different methodologies like grids, crisscrosses, circles, yo-yos, tops. Remember when I was a little kid, I must have been a year and a half old, and my aunt didn't hear me in motion. She was my favorite person in my life, my Aunt Violet, who was a real character. And one day I was in this little breakfast room, that's where I slept. And my mother and my aunt were in the living room talking. They didn't hear anything from the room. So they just, my aunt decided to come back and see the little room I was sleeping in. It was a little bassinet. And I was drawing all over the wall in baby shit, making these big serpentine shapes. And my aunt said, that kid's gonna be an artist. 
I liked, she said that, I like this look in this room. I may not be drawing with baby shit, but I'm marking with paint, with straight edges, diagonals, worms. I always like caterpillars, they left a track. When they moved across the surface, it was a little slimy thing they left the track, leaving evidence of where they had been. And I like that idea. This room is evidences of different kinds of activities and positioning. First, I made everything vertical and horizontal. And I like to see my necessity to make it even vertical and horizontal. I remember when I was young, I was an obsessive compulsive. And I remember playing baseball, I was out in the field. And if I touched a rock when I was running across, I had to go back and touch it with my other foot to make a symmetrical balance of it. And I remember some of my pals would say, what are you doing out there, Moses? And I was sort of embarrassed being caught in that position of having to align things balance things, making them symmetrical. And if I didn't go back and straighten that rock, that something bad would happen to me. I'd break an arm or fall on my face. So the idea of compulsiveness is if you do something you protect yourself from getting injured. I was always injuring, and I was always trying to do the right thing so I wouldn't be injured. And I often did the wrong thing. And as time went on, I learned to play with the wrong thing. Say, oh, I can let it, let it happen. Whatever happens is going to happen. So this room is evidence of that activity of aligning and straightening up and protecting myself or others. I wanted to protect others, too, so they wouldn't be injured. Like Nice. As if I'm imbued with some magical power by lack of alignment. That's it.